everyone, welcome back to Mad About Beauty. This week I'm going to be doing wigs. My personal favourite wig moment ever is Julia Roberts in Pretty Woman taking off that short blonde wig and revealing that she has this luscious, long, beautiful curly hair underneath. I'll never forget that moment of thinking, whoa, hair is so transformative. But there's also this movement on lots of people wearing wigs just because they're very fun. So if you look at Nicki Minaj and Katy Perry, they're wearing different wigs all the time just to play with their appearance. That's the kind of wig wearing I'm going to do in this challenge. That's wig number one. So the first thing to do is get rid of my normal hair. Hairspray. I kind of love it. Ready to go and face the world in my violet wig. People are looking at me oddly. Love it. The colour is amazing. So vibrant. I love your hair. I think it's awesome. You never need to brush your hair. Like you can just go like that and it's all in place and it's neat. I'm a bit annoyed about the fact that I can't put a beanie on. It's really, really cold. I absolutely love it. I think it's fantastic. I think that your violet wig is gorgeous and it really suits you. Are you a fan of wigs in general? I love wigs. I have a wig line, Joan Collins' wig line. Oh, well, we'll have to get that. Yes. That will be the next video. It's day two of the wig challenge and I am ludicrously excited because today I'm doing blonde. I've wanted to have blonde hair since I was, oh, so young. It was Bridget Bardot and Kate Moss. I dyed my hair a few times. It was always a disaster. I thought I looked like Gwen Stefani at the time. Not look like Gwen Stefani. So I am going to flat my hair today. So I'm off to Babington House. I keep checking my reflection in the mirror. It's brilliant. <laughs> when I saw you coming out of the car, I was like, who the hell is that? Amazing head of hair. It's very glam. Yeah. I like that. So I like that. <laughs> Heavy, it's not hot, it's perfectly comfortable to wear. I've got that sense at the moment when people look at me like they're looking at the hair. You look gorgeous. But do you, so glossy and beautiful. But do you think it looks fake the minute you see it? Absolutely not the minute you see it. Really? You think it does? I clocked it straight away. I feel really uncomfortable Like physically or just like people are looking at you? Both. They felt pretty much how I do. Like I'm here with my wig. It takes some balls to walk into a room full of all your peers in the industry wearing fake hair. I feel like I'm being airbrushed. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it looks great. Yeah. I'm on the fence about this one. I sort of like it in theory, but I'd like it to look a bit more like real hair. Mm -hmm. So it's day three. Big look, and it is the one that I am the most nervous about. It's a flattering colour. I'm going to plait my hair up. So it's really key to get it very tight at the back. Are quite foxy, fully, fully grey. I'm kind of nervous. I feel really conspicuous in this one. I don't know whether it's the style because it's quite short and it feels quite kind of poofy. And this is actually quite light, not at all uncomfortable. People are definitely looking at me, and then when I meet their eyes, they look away. It looks beautiful. Really? Do you think so? <laughs> I love the colour and mm. I really like the style on you as well. I think the short really looks quite nice. And yeah. A lot of volume and yeah. So it's hard to get your top off. You hold the wig down and then you pull it off. I love it. It's very striking and it looks very natural. I think if you're wearing like a fashion wig, you've got to be prepared for people to look at you. Oh, it's not heavy, it's not hot, but it's a little bit itchy. 15 hours or whatever and I just kind of can't wait to get it off. Okay, so it's the end of the wigs challenge and I've had really mixed feelings about this. Wearing fashion wigs where people clearly know their wigs. You have to have a degree of boldness. Maybe not one for a time that your confidence is at a low ebb. On the other hand, it is definitely fun. You can really play with your appearance in quite a significant way just by adding a wig. Thank you so much for watching. Please remember to subscribe and also follow Inside UK on Instagram and Facebook. See you next time.